right, ladies and gentlemen, we are only one mental breakdown away from going back to bed. So I'm actually in my apartment right now and I need to find somewhere where I can like safely spray paint this. I don't know if spray paint is even like safe to use on clothes, but I, this is just a costume and I'm just gonna do it anyway because I didn't have time to get like a gray corset or a white one. And we're just gonna like customize the whole thing. So let's go do that. I might just run outside and do that really quick because I'm embarrassed and I'll come back when it's done. All right, we're Oh, my iPhone came in the car. I don't mean to be on my Emma Chamberlain shit, but like my world is imploding, so I'm getting coffee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are only one mental breakdown away from going back to bed. Because I'm alone, I'm gonna need some help. Boop. Okay, you guys, so I spray painted this corset gray. It used to be blue, but I kind of like how it's a little bit uneven. I feel like it adds to the kind of decaying, spooky look. Um, I did take the ribbons out, so I'm gonna have to put those back in. The color took really well. I'm actually really surprised it did that. This is gonna be the base of the top for our wedding gown. We got the goods from Goodwill, yay! I saw this dress, and I was trying to troll everybody on Instagram because I said that I got this dress. <laughs> And I was like making people guess what I was gonna be and this is literally just the ugliest dress I've ever seen in my life So sorry if you donated this to Goodwill, but apparently you didn't want it either So we're gonna put this little doohickey on my girl. And let's see what we're working with. I thought this skirt would be perfect Excuse me Hey, Bentley Shh. Let's play the quiet game really quick. I mean as much as I hate this dress. I thought the skirt was perfect to make a ghoulie wedding dress and it even has a slit in it already. So I thought this would just be a great place to start. Are you playing in mommy's fabric? She loves that. Okay, you guys. So I also got this white dress from Goodwill as well. This one's kind of cute, actually. I don't think it's even my size, though, but I intended to chop it into a million pieces. Before I do that, I want to get a visual of what it would be like and maybe put a corset on top of it because I'm wearing a corset top. This is kind of a vibe. It's a little bit small on me. I am going to take the skirt part, I think, and use it for the skirt of the gown. I look like I'm in, like, American Horror store okay so don't judge the corset this is one of my old burlesque corsets this kind of looks kind of piratey it's not totally what we're going for maybe it was like a little bit of backup or something because she has a little bit of sleeves but one of her whole arms is also just like bone so this is kind of like my own interpretation of that vibe and for a pirate that would be so cute ahoy wait where's my sword comes a pirate one year too of course but okay okay we're getting some ideas. This is gonna be so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm pleasantly surprised with my goodwill hunting. Okay, so I actually owe everyone a huge apology. <laughs> I tried this on and not only does it fit me like a glove, which was really surprising, it really is really well made. I think it looks so much better. It's very form fitting. Honestly, it looked like a raggedy old thing hanging up in the store. And now I'm like kind of even ashamed to cut it up. I'm going to. I just have to say, if there's a one in a million chance that you're watching this and you have a dress that looks like this, I get it, okay? I, I take back everything that I said. I'm just gonna cut the top off so I can keep this to secure it onto my body. Zipper might pose a problem. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a seamstress. I don't even know where my needle and thread is though, so that's why we got E6000 glue. This might be a mistake. I'm cutting the zipper. Oh, this is really hard to cut. It's like a trillion layers. I wanna keep all of this, so we are going to cut the top off. Right here, all the way around. Top be gone. Okay, this is the skirt that we're left with. Whoever donated this, thank you. It is bringing me so much joy and I'm gonna make something so special with this. So thank you. I don't want you to think that I'm just like cutting it into pieces and throwing it away. Like this is gonna be iconic. So now we're gonna do the same thing with this one to just separate the top and the bottom and make some magic. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting so excited. So I got this one separated and I lined this slit up 
with this slit down here a little bit. I just safety pinned it for now. So I'm just trying to build it all and then I'll figure out how to attach it on my, onto my body. I think I'm gonna use this fabric that I already had and go add that onto the skirt and just make it look super bridal. I'm just kind of tacking everything on right now to still build it up and get an idea. I want it to be really long and beautiful and crazy, obviously. This isn't perfect because I'm using scraps. I'm gonna cut this and make it look kind of ghouly but I really just want to egg on like the the wedding gown vibes. Let's keep going. I got these flowers from Michaels and we're just gonna glue them on. So I got these because it has pearls on it. We're literally winging it. So I trimmed all of these so I can glue them flat. I separated them. These are like the regular ones and then these are some with the pearls on them. So I'm gonna try to focus these towards the front. I think I'm gonna put these more around the bottom or I'm not sure. All right, so here's the corset, and then I wanted to put lace on it. I'm just gonna glue it on so it's like form fitted along with it, but and then we'll see what happens. It's starting to look kind of crazy. I hope it looks good. I got one side of the corset done. It's all laced up and wedding fied. Oh my gosh, this is literally taking so long. We're gonna do the other side now and see what happens. I got both sides all laced and the edges are a little bit rough but that's okay because we're gonna cover it anyway. How did I turn this corset into that? That is so crazy! My next game plan is that I'm gonna take these flowers and put them around here. One by one by one and we'll see what happens. All right, it's starting to look more and more bridal. And I'm gonna go back in and add some more pearls. Just the white ones, but I think that'll look really good. Okay, so this is becoming less bride and is just like Elsa now. <laughs> but that is because we're gonna add in some more detail. We're gonna make it how I want it. We're not done. This is just crazy to think about where we started. This is pretty wild. I'm gonna paint this part blue. I'm so tired. What word am I thinking of? Yeah. Like oh, the most obvious reference to her outfit in the movie. I know it's Tim Burton, it's a costume. So um, just gonna, <laughs> I'm watching like ghost hunting shows. Um, so I'm gonna paint this blue just so it can be a little bit more similar to her picture. I didn't even show you because I forgot that I was making a video about this. <laughs> I made I made a veil and a little headband, so of course it's really long and bougie. It is. It's 9.07 on Saturday and I was gonna wear this to a Halloween party tonight. Obviously that's not happening. I think I'm just really gonna go all out. Like I usually just go for like the sexy Halloween costumes, but because this is such an ornate thing, I wanna make it as bridal as possible and also kind of just like a challenge because I'm filming this for you guys. So why not? Like I feel like this is just so fun. I'm having a ball, literally staying inside and not going out. I also look like a thumb right now but hey it's okay we've been crafting for like 10 hours so i'm adding these blue flowers of the slit and i think i'm gonna even put a pearl in the middle because go big or go home at this point day two i hand painted the flowers blue and added some more pearls i have some extra flowers that I hand painted just really quick to maybe put some on the skirt and then of course more pearls I've just been using I've used like half of these already. so yeah I'm just going to town with the hot glue gun now this thing has definitely seen some better days we're so close I put flowers all around the outer skirt all the way around and then this glue is just to match with the top the lace is looking a little bit too victorian so i think i'm gonna cut this i mean i have to cut it anyway but i'm gonna cut it and make it more ghouly but we're definitely getting the bridal feel over the elsa feel now guys ready for the grand reveal corpse bride human edition oh my gosh you guys i can't believe i made this out of that dress this is my wedding dress before my husband killed me 
to take all of my money. Oh, you said your vows so beautifully. This is really extra, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have never worn a gown like this, even just in real life for anything. My veil, and um, obviously I just woke up and have a headache, so I like, this is why I look like this, my face. My veil. I think we've succeeded getting out of the realm of Elsa and back into bridal. My corpse bride. Halloween wedding gown. I'm his wife. Oh. Should we get a little close up of the details? I really like that I added this too. It makes it very ghouly. And along with my shredded veil. What was the other girl? I only go out like once a month now, but this is what I'm inside doing in my apartment with a hot glue gun. If you don't see me out being social, it's because I'm busy. Tormented, waiting for my long lost lover. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. Happy Halloween, you guys. Stay posted on my Instagram. I will be posting final uh, pictures and videos and stuff of my hair and makeup. So thank you for coming along. Corpse Bride Edition.